Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Alaudi. Farmer sprays woke vegans with poop for trespassing. I don't blame them. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that. Ciao. Let's ciao. Whoa, they didn't just trespass. They kind of set up a whole camping thing on his territory. Holy cow. It's like they're having a convention on his land. Yeah, spray him. I mean, he's just fertilizing his land. Okay, first of all, you're trespassing on someone else's property. So he has the right to do whatever he wants to do to you on his property. Nobody is entitled to protest on someone else's property. I mean, in certain states like Texas or Florida, you'll get blasted. <laughs> and <laughs> nothing's going to happen to the owner. Let's be clear about that. Now, as for these delusional vegan people, you're lucky. You are very lucky because he could have handled this in another way that you wouldn't like. And not even the law is going to hold him accountable for Correct. it. Correct. Why? Because you're trespassing on his property. And at this point, I think everyone is tired of these vegan people trying to force their agendas and, ide and ideologies on people. I always say this. You want to be vegan, be vegan, but don't force it on others. Correct. <laughs> you don't realize how unfunny men are until they send you reels. So I noticed that you're a stand-up comedian. Well, let's take a listen to how funny you are. First off, if you're gonna come for me, at least tag me. Why is my YouTube name hidden? This you, you have me blocked. Even when I hid your identity, you were so scared that you blocked me. Maybe you can take this time to work on your comedy career. Because it needs a lot of it. Dang, that's tough. Yo, after you put him down for a nap, Come down I'm here. I'm put you down for a nap because you won't shut up. Okay. Night night crew. <laughs> your beauty like an ice cream cone the way it's holding out that chocolate like that. You know what I'm saying? Can I have your number? All right. The other day, a boy said something to me and it has not gone out of my head. Like, I'm going to remember this. But she never said what the boy said to her. <laughs> does height matter? Of course it does. Well, everyone has their preferences. But I really don't think they uh, appreciated this next part. Step on the scale. I'm not going on the scale. You should love a girl for who they are. You should love a guy for who they are, regardless of height. That's true. Right, that is true. <laughs> but wait. So take it back. I'm not taking it back. Step on the scale. No. You're, you you're being a coward. Wait, you're ridiculous. Hold on. By this logic, it's not okay to care what your partner's weight is. But it's absolutely acceptable to care how tall they are. What? You need to know an exact number. You don't need to know an exact height. All you gotta know is that they're taller than me, and that's it. Okay, I want you to be lighter than me. Step on the scale. No. It's almost too funny, isn't it? The fact that in society it's highly encouraged for women to have strict dating standards in regards to what the men they choose to date look like. But it's often frowned upon if men have standards in regards to what the women that they choose to date physically look like. I wonder why that is. And you know what the crazy part is? Weight is in your control. Height is not. These women will disqualify men based on something they have no control over, but want men to accept something they have control over. It just shows you that their standards are accepted. And I you know, I, I was at the donut shop today with my dad because my dad needed... I'm, I'm working mornings with that for now because he needs the extra help. And there's two gentlemen that came in bigger gentlemen's and they looked at me and i'm like man i need to stop eating donuts so i can get to your size and that's how men view each other we 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 compliment each other because we want that size we don't trash each other because he's fat or anything like that like this is the crazy part that women do to each other they shame each other for these things men we actually are like damn you look good dude I want to look, I want to get to that one at some point. He was an older gentleman, like in his 60s, 65s. So, and he was super tall, but he had a, a beer gut, you know, it is what it is. Our standards should not be voiced. Babe. Yeah. Are you a fat? Because I'm not. 
because you're on my mind all day. <laughs> oh, that men actually prefer women who don't get lip injections. <gasps> oh no! Now, not sure if this is satire, so if it is, then let this opinion fly. But, guys, I really think this is crazy. There are a lot of women who talk a lot of crap about guys they are currently with. And I've been seeing it all down my timeline. There was even a girl who talked crap about a guy she was with because he was broke. You guys actively get with men you're not attracted to. Or you get with men you don't respect and then get upset and come on the internet and complain to us. What do you want us to do? You, that's your person you got with now. I'm not gonna sit here and downplay men who aren't rich Some people don't need all that to be happy ladies But there's no point of degrading somebody all because you picked the wrong person and to me buddy's winning You know what? I mean, he's just trying to fix his car You're supposed to be his partner and I feel like if you're gonna get with someone You should wholeheartedly love them and want to help out with whatever they're going through not make fun of them and put them on blast on social media <laughs> Height matter? It definitely does. It does? <laughs> Dude, that escalated real quickly. <laughs> you said height matters. It does. All right, and weight matters, so step on the scale. Weight matters, but if you're not strong enough to carry me, then bye bye. All right, then let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's scary as fuck. Why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. <laughs> Here I am. Got him. Doing your job. Again. I'll forgive you though, because somebody's got to pay bills around here and it ain't gonna be me, so. I deserve a raise. Yeah, staying home with the kids is more work than going out and making money. <laughs> Listen, I'm not mad at her. At least she acknowledged it. And that's not his job. Yeah. You're at home and you're doing nothing with no job. So that's your job. But you're fine. You got a good head on your shoulders. I'm going to text him, get your marriage. What? What? Talking about dating to marry. Baby, I'm dating to fuck. He belongs to the streets. Damn, girl. I'll climb that tree. He literally just told me to, like, it just literally told me to pick this up. It literally told me to pick it up again. Like, that's how powerful the brain is. Like, they get <gasps> every decision you make. Guess what? What? I don't give a fuck. I have credit card debt. <laughs> Your fault. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Your fault. Last week I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. Your fault. And this year I have had chlamydia twice. Ugh, disgusting and your fault. What? As if it couldn't get any worse, you're also an alcoholic. Your fault. I guarantee she blames all of her shortcomings in life on men, even though they are all 100% self-inflicted. You know what? I enjoy watching a professional victim from time to time. I'm not gonna lie. You only chase women when you don't know any better. In reality, all you young men out there, listen, I understand, I've been there, I've done it. At the end of the day, you shouldn't be chasing women. Women should be chasing you. How you get women to chase you is number one, you stop chasing women, okay? Number one, you stop chasing women and you start chasing your potential, working on yourself, start becoming the best version of you you can, the best in health, the best financially, the best spiritually, the best person you can be. You need to learn to grow and develop as a man and stop worrying about the women. And as soon as you don't care about chasing women because you're more focused on larger ambitions and goals, girls, boom, appear. Why my wife won't let me give her back. They ain't wrong. We ain't wrong. When you look good, you feel good, you're confident, you have money, you can do whatever the fuck you want, guys. I'm not telling you to be millionaires or anything, but work to your potential. All of you guys have the potential to make great money, to live great lives, and to find wonderful women. You guys all have this potential. It's how much you're going to put effort into these things. 
And the first two things are the more important things. Back massages. Okay. My back still hurts. Your back hurts? Yeah, from all Because you blew it out? You want me to give you a back massage? No. No, why? Why not? Because you never just want to give me a back massage. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's true. <laughs> she ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. The back massage usually leads up to some fun times. Happy ending massages at the end. I'm done. Are you serious? Yeah. I, as a plus size girl, wouldn't date someone who's plus size. Mm. Um, because Why? Why is that? Because I want a guy who I can look at and admire and be like, oh, you know, like, I would like to be that way. You're, I would like to date someone who's fit, obviously, because I want them to be strong and, you know, all this stuff that can also help me improve in my fitness journey because I truly believe that when you're in a relationship with someone, you two influence each other so much. And I would like someone who can kind of... You don't think you're going to influence him to be fat because you're fat? You just literally said you influence each other so much. Uh, help me in an area that maybe I'm struggling in. But what if you're with a guy? Good. I was like, oh, Brian is looking straight at the camera like... Is this bitch serious? <laughs> Where do these females get these ideas from? I don't know. But it's typical of them because they're setting standards that they can't even achieve themselves. I said don't touch, don't touch me. Don't touch the boy. I said I got it. <laughs> are you serious right now? No way. Yo, Ricer, are you serious right now? Where's my food? What do you mean you were sleeping? So you didn't give me no food? No. Up and ask me what you are you kidding me right now? So wow, you don't think of me no more? No. Like, oh, are you serious? Like, why are you tripping right now? All right, whatever. Then that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cool guys. Got him. So I went. Than so many times to women because you know the women that like to take pictures for instagram and stuff i've dated quite a few and you know i go to nice places and they want to take pictures and as soon as they bring out the camera i start eating right away <laughs> they mess up their picture they get so upset it's hilarious out friday and you should check my page to see my little outfit and my makeup because it was on point but anyway and I realized this, and before I realized it, my friend, she brought it up. Black men don't like me. Well, if the way you tell stories is any indication of your personality, I see why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like you want them to approach you just so you can turn them down. I'm just assuming right here because I can sense a little entitlement in her attitude. That also, Alani, that was some poopy chow, but it was satisfying. Satisfying. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time.